Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? It's me, Dakota Fisherman, and you probably wonder, you know, okay. So, what have you been doing? Well, I went AFK, and here's why. <laughs> you go AFK, you get free shit. You think I'm kidding, but if you wait like a week, IGG is going to give you a triumphant return package, and they will give you energy and resources, including speed-ups, while you're AFK. Now, if you're active every day, well, you don't get that. <laughs> So in case you're wondering, how come you're being such a shroob about this? That's why. Now, it's a small advantage, not a huge advantage. And it is kind of something that, you know, as you as you can tell, it, when starting your account and you're playing Lord Smallwood, yeah, it's probably generally a good idea to be active 24-7. You know, if unless you're just like me and you're... You're not going to be on every single waking hour of the day, or you're not going to be able to shield every second of your life. And if you're like me, and you feel like, you know, well, that sounds like me. Maybe I just, you know, hey, I'm, I'm just playing the game to have fun. Well, here's the thing. IGG's always got a bunch of free shit that they're willing to give you, and I'm going to help you maximize the min-maxing that you're going to need to do in order to be able to do things like Kingdom Labors, events, and so on. One of the major events that's coming up is Guild Fest, but right alongside it, you also have this thing called Phantom Pains. Now, the thing is, a lot of people will ignore the fuck out of this event. Some people will save up energy for it. Now, my book, you know, hey, the nice thing about Phantom is that in order to hit him, you need energy, and in order to hit him regularly, you need a lot of energy. So, in my world, right, I've been trying to build up what little amount of energy I have so that that can be done and that can be possible. Now, again, you know, getting some bookmark spaces every now and then, little things like that, they all add up, you know, and you all know, just want to save those technologs because you're going to be able to get over the hump of actually doing researches over a long period of time. Of course, you know, I like to shield every once in a while, especially if I'm messing around with stuff terribly frequently so i tend to be a little careful now you know if again if you're interested in buying packs and stuff and let's say you are wanting to be a pay to win you know when you're starting out you know there's really not a lot of good options as far as packs are concerned uh they all kind of start out kind of shitty uh you know it's like here i could pay five bucks and get like what three hundred thousand energy this is kind of shitty i hate to break it to anybody but my two cents is I wouldn't touch that with a five foot pole. Uh, and, you know, that's just my opinion on it. You know, it's 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 kind of something that, you know, some people will mess with it. Some people won't. Uh, but in particular, let me uh, let me actually bring the screen up a little closer for you guys so you can actually see what I'm talking about. But uh, in particular, right, one thing that does come to mind is, you know, if, if let's say you're sitting here and you're trying to do the min-max of your account, you're trying to get really close by, you'll notice that, like here, I've got a lot of the super pay-to-win pieces, but if you don't have that, you just gotta go around and gather. It's really not a terribly complicated process by any means, but, you know, if I'm gonna min-max, especially right now, right, I'll take the energy I get, you know, which is 15k, that t usually takes some time, but if you've ever wondered, you know, how long does it take? It says here it's going to take seven hours. So if you ever wonder, you know, how long do I have to wait? Now you know where to check. But uh, in the case of Hard Rocks, if you're trying to min-max him, he's kind of a hard one, but he's high in physical defense. So the only thing that you want to use on that guy is magic if you've got it. Now, if, you know, if, and that's really for anyone that has a lot of heroes. If you're like me, though, you're going to be trying to keep your hero count minimal. And the reason why you do this is so that you can avoid having to get extra added might. You'll notice I'm only 3 million might right now, but I'm at Castle 22. I've almost got, you know, a lot of the min-maxing portion already kind of, you know, getting along. Now, again, you know, we're going to go ahead and upgrade the farm real quick. Uh, the next tier, right, to go from here to 23 is really straightforward. It's going to take 8 days. I have 173% for construction speed. Now, something that you always want to check to make sure if you do or do not have is your construction speed boosts. And you'll see out here I've got about five of them, so we're going to go ahead and use one. And, of course, you know, if you aren't, you always want to make sure your talents, you want to make sure you get your construction boost and your, you know, you're wanting to make the most of that. Now, I've already done it, and I've already got all my construction gear on for the most part, so really the only thing I need to do here is just hit upgrade. 
And by doing that, I get the seven day timer and the rest is history. Now, you know, again, it, getting to 25 is a slow rolling pace. And especially if you're not paying, you're, you're gonna, it, you're gonna get there, but it's gonna take you a couple of weeks. In my experience, the main thing you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure you're saving those guild coins because guild fest is pretty handy if you save for that event um i'm not using any of these honey baked hams and lamb chops uh because really what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to save up and so as it you know as the opportunity comes around i'm actually just doing the elite stage form i haven't gotten very far yet because really all i'm doing is taking the brave hearts i've got or the and you know the extra energy SDA that I have, right? And I'm only using it once in a while. Like here, you'll see I leveled up. I'm at level 28. Gives me four more talent points and yada, yada, yada. Now, there is a point at which, you know, once you get to a high enough level, right, your leader will actually not be able to get freed. And this is where people, you know, notice, oh, well, that sucks. <laughs> you know, it's no fun to get captured and then have to deal with the timer between leader captures and death and that's what you're going to use those guild coins for because you'll wind up having to reheal and you know honestly a lot of people or at least from the start they like to build a huge army in my opinion don't really bother with that because you're not you know you you want to just build t1s if you can you know and in my opinion building t1 grants is usually the best way to go part of the reason why they run them in bots a lot is because for one thing they're cheap but then on top of that, there's not a lot of maintenance required for them. Now you notice I don't have hardly any infirmaries and that's because I don't plan on building an army. You know, if I, if I did, you know, I would probably make a couple more than what I've just got. But you know, again, the, the, the main reason why you're trying to do this in the way that I'm doing it anyway, is because you're, you know, I'm trying to hyper, right? So I've got a bunch of buildings here that I still got to upgrade. I still got a lot of work to do in terms of upgrading the vault. And it's just, you know, nitty gritty stuff that you got to do in order to work your way up and down the ladder. Now, like here, I always look for guards if I can. And then we'll just go ahead and take a leaping shot at it. See what we can get. Of course, if you were lucky and you made your account before, uh, be during the witch doll challenge event, you would have probably gotten lucky and gotten witch doll like I have. Uh, not obviously everyone's not always gonna have that opportunity and if you didn't that's okay you're gonna be fine you just have to work on uh, working towards either petite devil or you want to try and grab witch doll if you can now the main thing is with a lot of these guards is you just want to go after the guards for the most part because most of the time your player on player combat's not going to be very easy but you want to make sure you're doing Colosseum because you're going to get some exp from this and it helps when you're trying to level or progress your heroes it's kind of handy um again this is kind of more no shit sherlock uh answers but you know again for a lot of people that are just starting out i, I bring this out so that you can kind of get an idea as to what's going on but if you didn't know you can just pause and exit like that you don't actually need to watch the whole battle if you don't want to um, and it's just, you know, small little things like that that'll make your life a lot easier. Um, you'll notice I'm sitting here just trying to refresh because I'm wanting to get, try to get a low rank if I can. Uh, this team in particular is pretty solid. You know, it's not a terribly complicated team by any means. You don't need to do a whole lot with it. You know, with Rose Knight, Oath, and Witch Doll, a healer, and some backline DPS, like... That's, that's really all you need. You don't need a hell of a lot. Um, you know, for the more complicated teams out there, you know, yes, you can you can go over and under if you want to and actually get yourself even better stuff. But the, the main thing whenever you're doing that is just be mindful of how much you're spending. You want to be really careful. I almost highly recommend if you're using Google Play, set up a budget so that you don't go over because it's very easy to do it in this game. You get very carried away very quickly. That's what I'm trying to say. But uh, again, this is a mobile game. For those of you that are new to it, you know it's just something that I recommend. Um, outside of that, though, uh, one of the things I'm also working on is I'm also trying to get my packs upgraded. Now, one thing you want to look for is Evil Weevil in here. You want to make sure you try and grab that guy when you can. Now, right now, I'm I'm like slowly working on Misto Tewa Spot. And the reason why you go for Terror Spec, and again, IGG is like, oh yeah, you've never seen a familiar before. I'm like, no, no, I know what's going on. But <laughs> you want to save up 
and you want to actually see here if you can get yourself because it's a it's an easy way to get some free production at least in the beginning uh, it may not sound like much but it does add up over time uh, and again you know I'm, I'm, I'm still doing a lot of familiar based researching right now so if I go over and above on anything like you'll notice I've got the wanderers head again this is all because I'm trying to set up a uh, well it's basically going to be a food hypers, the, the long-term plan for this. But I also want to be able to make a griffin trap out of it. And so to do that, you just need to be really careful that you're not, you know, adding a lot of access mines. So don't accept your tariff quests. Don't do none of that. You know, you're just wanting to try and stay at very, very minimal amounts of might as possible, just so that way you're getting the most out of it. And then that's pretty much all there is to it, you know, and, and the min-maxing of this is just to make things a little easier. Uh, you know, outside of that, I'm just hoping to get to pack three. And again, to pack three, I just got to get to level five across. And so, you know, it's it, it's a process, but we can get there nonetheless. Uh, seeing as how it's like most of my research in here, I should be able to at least kind of get it started. Or at least I'll get close. One of the things that I always want to pay attention to here is the bags. Because this is the, the one place where you will start to run out on, and you just want to make sure you gather, you know, in, in place of that to make sure you're not losing anything. So we'll just go ahead and pick out a level 3 node, for example, and then just have our units go out there and go gather. And, and you know, how long it takes for them to get there, etc., is not really important to me right now. I'm not terribly trying to be super efficient. Obviously, if your, you know, account gets to a point where... You're at 25 and shit, and you need to, you know, probably crank it up a bit. But when you're starting out, it's it's more about just being able to get by and just slowly working your way up. That's what you want to focus on. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys, though, and I'll see you guys probably to the Wednesday Warpath video on Wednesday. Uh, outside of that, you know, I, I know some people are probably wondering, well, how was your KBK on your main account? And it's like, it was okay. <laughs> I didn't really, like, bother playing with it with this particular case because even though it was a kingdom like you had three kingdoms including your own type kvk wasn't that exciting uh i didn't really do a hell of a lot because i've been checking out rust uh so you know for any of you that have watched twitch you probably know what rust is by now if you don't um i don't know maybe i'll stream it some but uh yeah that for the most part that that's pretty much what's new in my world at least on this account so Hopefully you guys learned a thing or two, and hopefully I'll see you guys to the next video on probably next Monday. So, see you then.